small, they're not going to sway an entire election. Let's not look at them. But those things could sway a whole election. No one has ever looked keenly or talked about Smartmatic. And how Kenyan data is diverted and changed, or a logarithm is set to change or sway the data. That is what happens on Kenyan election. This is not local. This is not something done locally. It is an international manipulation of, an, of a Kenyan election. Someone needs to write a document about how we've lost our sovereignty. That's why when our president was sworn into office, he has done everything that's a foreign policy. It's not a Kenyan policy. In the Kibaki administration, we had public particip participation about GMO. Documents sit in parliament. But what did Ruto do? Immediately he came in, he lifted the ban on GMO. No public participation, nothing discussed in parliament, and GMO was allowed in Kenya. Every single loan that is coming to Kenya right now through IMF and World Bank has a social economic agenda attached to it. We give you this loan, you pass this bill, you pass this bill. That's why right now the agriculture bill has been passed. That's why right now it's a criminal activity to carry out agricultural activities unless you have a diploma in agriculture. Otherwise, you face a, 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 a jail term or a bail. If anyone is willing, lawyers listening to this piece, audit every single bill that has been passed in the Kenyan parliament. It's a foreign agenda. It's not a Kenyan agenda. Social economic structures, like on the 24th of July, there is a case, there are Kenyan agriculturists who have come together who are, are, are suing because it's now criminal to share seeds in Kenya. These are legislations that have gone through the parliament. That's why I would say this is the worst government I've ever seen as a Kenyan, because no one cares about the bills they have passed in that parliament. Why is our president jumping as high as the foreign masters want him to jump? Because they played a big role in his presidency. He has no stance to fight for the Kenyan people. That's why he was the best candidate for them. And if anyone feels like my sentiments are not true, tell me one single thing he has done that is good for the Kenyan people. Even this finance bill is all a social economic structure attached to IMF funding. When you study all these things that have happened in this country, you realize the foreign hand in the Kenyan um, democracy it is so huge. And I will shock you when I tell you, even on the opposition side, high level, they always know where the presidency is going. I will shock you to tell you, even Raila knew, let me do this thing to maintain my backyard, to maintain the control of half of the country, he has a big following. To control Azimio, to have a big number members of parliament, I mean, members of parliament in parliament, but he knew he's not going to ascend to presidency. Because he sort of lost the willingness to keep fighting, because it's a big monster to fight. When the election is done, he'll quickly be meeting the ambassadors, he'll quickly be meeting the EU commissioners, because the players that be have to manipulate both sides. That's why even now, his AU seat is really attached to these foreign bodies. They just want to balance an equilibrium in Kenya because we are, we are the products in the market, we are the slaves. They are, they are squeezing every little life out of us as they manipulate a sitting government and manipulate an opposition. And as we sit here, discussions are underway of building a government of sort of national unity. I don't know if they're going to call it coalition. And they think that is going to quell the cry of Kenyans right now. They just want a working situation to continue pushing their social economic agendas, which are not Kenyan, 
which are not for the good of any Kenyan. And you will see, they are going to have cabinet positions next week or next week, but and you will see what these people are doing. They are working together. If they were not working together, none of these players is coming out clearly and listening to what Kenyans are saying. Because what Kenyans are saying, this government is not fighting for us. Even on the smallest level, this government is not fighting for Kenyans. If you, for the people that can study and do this, if you study the Venezuelan hand in the Kenyan government, it was huge. The foreigners played a big role in diverting the will of the people. And I will tell you again and again, what you see today is not what Kenyans voted. Thank you, Eric, for your time. Oh. What do you mean? Eh? Eh, my Lord. Eh?